Take, for instance, those ubiquitous plastic shopping bags. They're, they're very light, they float around, they get twisted around things. They're one of the most difficult things to recycle. The result? It costs more to process the bags than can be earned from selling them. So they're simply trucked off to be buried. And while a few flimsy bags don't seem like much, they add up. Americans consume an estimated 100 billion of them every year. You want to go for it? So many bags, they seem to grow on trees. Oh, there we go. There you go. There Which is why in northern New Jersey, Bill McClelland and Ian Frazier invented this device, the bag snagger. It's annoying to see a bag in a tree. It was a sort of a sport. It was something to do for fun. You got it. And something to do for the environment. Beautiful. Plastic bags blowing in the wind have become a litter problem nationwide. You see a bag in a tree, one bag, and you notice it and it bugs you and you can get that bag out of the tree, you suddenly see this tree just kind of come back to life. And you feel like, you know, you've really made a little, a little dent in the problem.